Hey everybody, I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this wig from Ali Julia on Amazon. Um, they reached out to me to do a review. I'm just going to show you. I haven't really opened it. Um, here is the box. The packaging is really cute packaging. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Okay, inside the box you have the wig. Two stocking caps, excuse me, um, a headband, and an information card. The company said it's called Julia Hair. It's called Julia Hair, but I, for some reason, it says Ally Julia. I think they used to be called Ally Julia on AliExpress, but now that they're not on AliExpress. I'm assuming that's why it's just Julia hair. Um, you might be able to find it underneath both. I just typed in Julia hair. Okay, so the wig is in the standard cap. Okay, like first off, let's look at this lace color. I've never seen a wig put this inside of it before. That's different. But let's see if I get close up on how it looks. Okay, maybe I should move the white thing because it's making it look quieter. But um, the hair does have baby hair in it, I see. It looks like it's plucked because most of my wigs are looking real thick in the front. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty plucked. Um, take a little piece of plastic out. Oh wow, that's cool. I've never seen that either. It has like those little plastic things that be on clothing attached to that thing. Um, I'm glad I didn't pull too hard because I feel like I might have ripped the lace, but it's on the lace, so even if I would have ripped it, it would have been okay. But here is the wig. Um, I read some reviews and I saw that once you wet it, it gets bigger. So we're going to see if that's true. This is the 10 inch, so it wasn't going to be super long anyway. Um, it does have the standard three combs in the front and one in the back. I personally don't use those. Um... Because where your lace is, is right here. Your lace would be like right here. So if you put the combs in there, you're sticking it in like the middle of your braid right there. And I feel like that would just cause a lump. But that's just me specifically. It does have an adjustable band in the back. And it does have some lace if you want to pull it up. I don't think I'm bleaching knots in this video. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the ball cap method. I haven't done that in a while. Mm, it doesn't have like a strong smell. It has a typical hair in a bag smell. Um, the curls are really soft. Okay, I didn't have to pull that hard. But the curls are really soft. The hair is really thick. I want to say it's 180 density. If it's not 180, it's 150. But it's definitely like a thick enough curl. So sometimes you get curly hair and it's like, you can see through the curls and you ain't looking through this. Because this looks good. But let me get it on. Let me get started. And I'll tell you what I think. Hi, so I got my stocking cap, which is already about the color of my head, and I pulled it all the way down to my eyebrows, and I sprayed some got to be freeze or whatever the spray is called. Y'all know what it is. Y'all wear we. Um, I sprayed that on my hairline, and I made sure it was covered. So I take my blow dryer and I dry it, dry it, dry it, dry it, and then I take some scissors and first I cut a little hole where my ear is and then pull the cap behind my ear. I do this on both sides, but I only show it once. So after I do that and I look like little Bill, I begin to cut from the middle. You can cut from anywhere, but the middle is just easier for me. Um, so I cut it and I cut really close to the hairline. If it's not perfect the first time, just finish. And then you can go back and touch up any areas if needed. And then I cut the back as well so it's not hanging out my wig, but it's not necessarily necessary to do that. So um, I took some alcohol and cleaned off the glue off my face and then I went back in and got the extra pieces of cap that I showed you. Um, I wasn't striving for perfection on this one, so I know it looked a little dusty. Um, I got the Ebon lace glue that I've heard about and I put out there. Um, at some point you see me make a face because it kind of smelled like grape and pump it up spray. It smelled really good. Um, so I dry that down again, and this is really just to kind of get the pieces that look they're rolling up. Um, like I said, my ball cap wasn't perfect, but it definitely got the job done. 
So I take some alcohol again and I clean off some of the excess glue off my forehead and my skin. And then I just dry it to make sure um, it was dry and completely down. I take a rat tail comb and just kind of pull it down to like really melt it down. And then I go on with my foundation. I feel like at this point, y'all know what color I am, so I don't even have to say that. Um, and it was on the screen anyway. So I just cover that up. It don't really make a difference because the cap is already about my hair color. So I put the wig on and then, you know, I look at it, see how it looks, look at the part. And then I take the hair and I pin it behind my ears so I can kind of figure out if I need to cut ear tabs, like go hard and cut that off. But it almost fits my head perfect, so I don't have to do a lot with the ear tabs. And then I'm gonna pin my hair back and then make sure, like I said, see how it's fitting on my head. I'm gonna pin it back on both sides and then go from there. So now that it's pinned back, I check one more time to make sure it's lined up. Um, I cut my lace the same way I did my cap. I start off in the middle and then I work my way down each side. That way, you know, you don't have to deal with the whole thing at once. Take my scissors and I begin to cut the lace. Um, I try not to cut straight. I try to cut my lace in like a jagged motion. So that's why you see my hand go kind of crazy right there. So um, I just do that on both sides and make sure the hair is out the way, of course, so you don't cut your hair off. Um, you see there's some extra lace, but I go back afterwards and I make sure I get the rest of it off. Um, you'd rather have a little bit too much and go back than to cut too much and now your wig looking bald headed and your ball cap showing. You can also cut the lace off while it's not on your head. That's what I used to do, but I'm starting to like to do it this way. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it like that, you can do it like that and then you might have a little bit more control. So now that I've done that on both sides, I take the wig off and I cut the lace from the back off and then now I pull the wig back and I put this lace glue which is the Eben brand I told you about I put it all over and then I dry it with the blow dryer um I did two layers and then I line my wig up with the glue so I take a rat tail comb and just kind of like try to melt it in um there's going to be pieces that's going to come up when you do it. And you just go back in and fill in with glue and make sure it's down. Make sure you don't put too much. And, you know, make sure your wig is secure because don't nobody have time for our wig to be flying up. And be like, uh-uh, I can see your leg. You don't want to be that person because they will talk about you like they talked about Jesus. So I went in with the blow dry and drying it down again, holding it down, using my comb. Using your comb is better because then you don't have to worry about your greasy fingers mixing in with the legs and it look all funny. Um, you can also let it dry by air, but it's going to take much longer. And don't have time for all this because this already took 44 minutes. So I'm just going in on the whole hairline, checking it, blowing the air on it, looking crazy. And then once I feel like it's dry, I take the clips out and um, I pull the hair back. There's still some pieces where it was a hun not 100% gel down so i go in again um right here i took some free spray again and sprayed it in the area and tacked it back down um i'm not going to wear the wig forever so i didn't do a super secure job but if you are put more gel be more thorough so i take a scarf and i tie the hair up and let it kind of like set and then i let it sit there for about 20 minutes or so so now that i have a spray bottle and i have some moisturizer and i just spray the hair and then run the moisturizer through it and boom curls popping so you can see me do it again because i didn't feel like i put enough water when applying the glue you can also use little dots and smooth it down with like an applicator stick so like a popsicle stick and that way you don't get any grease in it um so i didn't really focus on the baby hairs i did it like i do my real hair i just put gel up there and swooped it back um i was fine with it i did end up changing it from a side part to a middle part um, it just looked better to me. So now I just go in with that same foundation on my part and just smooth it in, smudge it with my finger just to make it look a little bit more natural and blend it with my skin tone a little better. Okay, so I have worn my wig all day long. It is late in the afternoon the next day. Um, you saw a brief overview of how I do the installation. Um, my video was like 44 minutes long and I know y'all didn't wanna watch all that. So a lot of the things I showed you, I sped it up and I also only showed you how I did it on one side because, like I said, you don't want to watch my video 44 minutes long. Um, but overall, I really like this hair. Um, just some more of the details. I'm not sure if I told you in the beginning, but this is a 10-inch curly bob. 
um I want to say it was the kinky curly, but it is like a kinky curly, maybe like a jerry curl kind of texture. It's really pretty. My real hair, my texture is very similar to this. So like I said, um, this is a 10 inch curly ball and it comes with pre-plucked hairline, baby hairs, and it has a lace in the back and in the front. So you can pull it up if you wanted to. Um, there's three clips in the front, one in the back. The lace was really close to my skin tone. Like before I gelled it and stuff and I just put it down, like it was blending really well. I did not bleach the knots because I just didn't feel like it this time. And you can't really tell. I put makeup in the parting. Um, of course, you know, if you wanna be super conscious about it, put more makeup, make sure you take extra time in blending. But overall, mine looks fine today. Um, the hair is really, really soft and it didn't have a weird smell to it and once i put products in it you weren't going to smell nothing anyway um i'm kind of tempted to straighten this hair to see oops, okay i'm kind of tempted to straighten the hair to see how well it looks when it's straightened to see how it reverts back but i'm not sure if i'm going to do that or not um like i said you can get this wig on amazon i want to say the price is about 69.02 before tax i'll put the information somewhere on the screen and I think they used to be on AliExpress, but I'm not 100% sure. You can find the company. Sometimes it'll say Ali Julia, and sometimes it'll say just Julia Hair. Um, the information card inside the box says something about what it meant, but I don't have the box in front of me at the moment. But overall, I would definitely recommend this wig. It is affordable, it has a really nice density. Um, it looks really natural, it's really soft, really pretty. Um, I feel like this wig in the 12 inch will be super fire. Like, if I were to order this myself, I would probably order the 12 inch. Because I had a 12 inch before, and on me it come like right here, I think. And like I said, I'm 5'8". So, this 10 inch on you might be longer on you because of your head size and like how tall you are. And if you got a long neck or short neck or no neck. So... <laughs> Overall, um, I'm really happy with the wig. And if you watched my last video, I'm doing a wig giveaway. If you haven't watched it before, go back and watch the video. Come back, like this video, like that video. Um, to win the wig, you just have to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment your Instagram name in the video of the giveaway. Not this video, but the other video. And um, I will be announcing the winner on, well, I will be picking a winner on Sunday. and. Either Sunday or Monday, I'll do a video and I'll say who won the wig. It's really easy. Be sure to enter because why not? Who who doesn't want free hair? So, um, fun story. I actually won a wig off of YouTube doing the same way. Lovely Brianna, she has the Who Wants It Wednesday. And I ended up winning um, a wig from her. I'll probably put a picture of it somewhere, the one I won. But, um... I'll probably have some more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned to it. Thank you for watching this far. Um, be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye!